Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you a quick demonstration of how to set up the new Ada multi-streaming plugin for OBS. This allows you to multi-stream to multiple different sites for free without having to spend on a subscription fee or anything like that. I've also got a video in the description on how to set up the vertical canvas, but this video should contain everything you need to get started. Please let me know if there's anything I missed or if you have any questions and good luck on your multi-streaming. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go and do here is go to the Atom website, aitum.tv. This will be the main page. And then I want you to scroll down. We want to download both the vertical plugin and the multi-stream. You need to have the vertical plugin to work with the multi-stream. They go in conjunction together. So first things first, download the vertical plugin. And then you should see that download start in a minute here. Perfect, and then just go back, go down and download the multi-stream plugin. Once you've done that, you should have both the Windows installer for multi-stream and the vertical canvas. Now to install those, you just double click the, you'd probably go with the vertical one first. So um, what we'll do is we'll go with the vertical canvas Windows installer, double click that. Uh, you can leave everything set up as here, destination just next install you want this to actually be the location that you have your obs studio installed in or else the plugin won't work so that's where i have obs studio installed we will install um it's i can't close obs right now because i'm recording this video but otherwise you just hit next and then it will be done just like that um, i'm going to cancel because i have obs open and i already have it installed but after that run the multi-stream installer next install and then it should just install for you when you open up OBS, you can go to your docs and in your docs, you should have the vertical scenes, the vertical sources, the vertical scene transition, vertical, as well as the Atom multi-stream here. So what you're going to do is turn those on. Um, you don't necessarily need the vertical scene transition unless you have a transition. I don't really use one. So what happens is, here we go. So this is my vertical setup right here. Uh, I'm not going to go over how to set up the vertical canvas on here. I have another video where I've done that in the past because I've been using this plugin for uh, vertical streams to YouTube for quite some time now. So down in the description, you can find the video for the link to how to set up your vertical canvas. And then once you have your vertical canvas set up just like this, how you want it, uh, go to your Ada multi-stream dock down here. And then this is where you can set up your main canvas and your vertical canvases. So we've already got the vertical um, canvas set up right here. And then this is our horizontal one. Usually you log into Twitch or whatever other service here. And then once you have that set up, you can go to the multi-stream, click the settings button down here. And then this is where you set up your main or vertical canvases. So for vertical canvas, for YouTube, what you wanna do is so for YouTube, uh, go to your creator dashboard and go to create, go live. And what this is going to do is set up your live stream here. So you're gonna wanna set up and edit your live stream before you go live every time anyway. But what you need to do is figure out which um, stream key you want here and then copy the stream key and the URL browser over into here. So you'll go add output, YouTube, and then pick the primary server. And then you copy your stream key here. So I'll just copy it. And then basically you paste it in there. Basically, uh, once you copy and paste that in there, your stream key, you'll have this here and you'll have your output settings where you can name it YouTube shorts or whatever you would like with your stream key and then advanced settings you can use your main video encoder uh, if you don't want to use extra resources i would recommend doing that and then the audio settings here's where you can change your audio encoder and your audio encoder index if you have a twitch vod track and then that way you can still have route your audio appropriately and now here in your main canvas is where you would set up anywhere you want to do your horizontal ones uh, youtube the setup would be the same as the shorts also in vertical canvas is where you would set up your um, your TikTok stream. So you would go add output. You want a TikTok. 
Uh, so in your live center, if you have a TikTok stream key, again, this changes every single time you stream on TikTok. So you will have to manually update this every single time if you want to do it. I believe they are working on an easier suggestion, but you copy your server and your stream key from your TikTok live center, and then just hit create output. And then again, go to your advanced settings and your audio video. You can just use the main encoder or change what channel you use. Uh, so YouTube, the landscape is the same as the vertical. Uh, you would just add the output, copy your stream key and your URL from your creator dashboard here. And then it would be just the same setup. It just, this would allow you to use your uh, landscape full screen resolution. And then now we will set up a main canvas. So if you'd like to set up kick, go to add output kick. And what happens is the kick server will automatically be in here already. And the stream key can be found in your kick creator dashboard. So if you put, just copy your stream key right there and then create output. Um, and then it'll save just like that with the server and the stream key. And you can go into your advanced settings. I leave everything as main coder in one. There shouldn't be any issues. And now if you'd like to multi-stream to X Twitter, yeah, if you want to set up a X now, um, the best way to find your stream key would be go to the producer page. So copy the link for that. And then in your studio here, what you would do if you don't have another source already, what you do is create a source, then just say um, OBS live or whatever you want to call it, RTMP, select the region that is closest to you. So for me, US, uh, actually Oregon, and then you would just click create. And now once you create that source, it will give you your URL that you need here. And once you have your, uh, once you have your source here now, um, here is your URL that you can use and you can click this arrow to get your stream key. I don't mind showing this cause I'm going to delete the source anyway. So copy this URL and this stream key over into right here. You can pick whatever server, but copy that stream key right here that you just created. And then when you want to go live on Twitter, what you'll do is you'll already have your source set up. So I have my Twitter live here that I use, which has my key. And then uh, I go to broadcasts, go to create broadcast, broadcast name, call it whatever you want it, add a category and select the source that you just created, your OBS Live. Then you can change all your settings down here, or you can grab your stream key from here again too. Uh, change your advanced content restrictions. You don't really need to play with these, but then click Create Broadcast. You wanna have this broadcast created ahead of time, every time, and then once you go live for OBS, it'll pick up that broadcast. And then any other, uh, it's the same with any other multi-stream you would like to add here. If you would like to add safe Provo or Twitch, you would click Twitch, um, pick the server closest to you and grab your stream key, which they give you links directly to where you can find your stream key right in here. So you click that, it'll open it up to the page you need, log into your Twitch, grab your stream key. But if you have Twitch as your main, um, your main stream on OBS, you don't need to worry about that. And then once you have all your canvases set up here to go live, you can just hit the button right here, the little green button, and that will make you go live on each of your canvas. So I hope you enjoyed this setup video for the multi-stream plugin. And like I said, the setup for the vertical canvas is in the link below on my old video. Uh, I hope both of those helped you and good luck on your multi-streaming. Peace.